What's up, y'all? It's me, it's your boy Asmund Gold, and we're continuing the uh, How to Solo the Glory of the Pandaria Hero, and we are here in Shandopan Monastery. And basically, this is probably one of the easiest achievements that you ever have to do. Um, you just need to kill these novices and then bow to them after you kill them. So, uh, bow, and um, you just have to do this a bunch of times, and just do it to all of them. And that's really all it takes. Um, you, have to, you, have to, you can do it uh, in multiple attempts. So, there we go. And so, if, if for whatever reason you don't get all of them on the first try, um, you can come back and the progress will be saved. So, like, you can get, like, 10 on one and 10 on another. Um, the best way to do this is make a macro just to say slash bow and then just click on them and hit the macro but I don't really have one um, just because I've already done this before but basically I mean just typing it and then like you know if you hold like I think it's like control or alt and then like the up key it'll like retype what you just said so uh, that's kind of how how I did it I think whenever I got it I don't really honestly remember it was kind of why I think I did this like the day the expansion came out Oops, I accidentally sent the wrong thing. That can happen too. But um, anyway, I think there actually are exactly 20 of them. So again, if you have a macro and you're just clicking it, um, this achievement's a complete joke to get. Uh, there's like no way that you can really mess it up. But uh, anyway, we're going to go over to the Shah of uh, I think it was Pride or Shah of Anger or Shah of whatever the fuck. And uh, that's actually a pretty hard one, so we're going to do that now. Alright, we're back in Shandopan Monastery, and we're going to do a hard achievement. Um, it's called the Obvious Solution. And basically what you have to do is kill the Shah of Fear, Shah of Violence, oh my god. Shah of Violence, after you click this orb, or this button, or whatever. So I'm going to click the button, and then we're going to get this going. Basically, uh, I'm prot for this because I'm probably going to be taking a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. Uh, it should be okay, but um, we'll see what happens. The volatile energies, those are kind of going to be a problem because they're going to explode on me. And so what I'm going to do is after everything gets together, I'm going to pop wreck and shield wall and just blow up as many of them as I can. Oh, I'll do last stand too. He does this thing that makes you not do any critical strikes. It's really not a big deal except for, um, what's it called? Except for what loss of DPS. It's really not anything else besides that. So anyway, I'm just going to kill the last manifestation. And he does this disorient thing, which is really kind of the, uh, one of the big cop blocks to this place. Um, it's kind of hard to solo him because of that but it's not really that big of a deal. I'm just going to try and keep up shield wall for as much of that time as possible and just kind of take them down. Um, after you kill all the adds, the fight's the exact same as normal. It's just basically rolling cooldowns and killing the adds. Uh, you're going to have a really hard time doing this if you're not a tank. I would say pretty much for sure. Um, yeah, see, as you can see, I mean, that, that does do like a, like, I don't know, like a little bit of damage, but it's really not that big of a deal. Like, if you're a warrior, if you just got second wind up, uh, he's never going to kill you. And I don't think he has, like, an enrage or anything like that, so there's really no way that you're actually going to die. As you can see, I absorbed the next one. It's just, at this point, it's just kind of, you're burning them down. But uh, I, I guess I'll kind of explain the three different types of adds. They're the ads that do the breath and they just stand in place and so you just want to make sure they're not breathing on you unless you're like trying to get vengeance or something like that. Um, there's a special ad that only spawns I think on this fight. It's called the Shaw Manifestation. And really all he does is he just casts Shaw Blast on you and he has a lot of health. Um, one of the most difficult things here is just AoEing down or killing the, uh, the small Shaws that explode on you. And even that isn't very hard. Um, what I would suggest to do is just pop a cooldown and then just start chain killing them. As you can see, he doesn't spawn the shot spike on me or the little ads because he only spawns that on someone who's not uh, first on aggro. So um, you do kind of uh, get to avoid you know dealing with that. 
But as you can see, I mean, this is just pretty much boring. So we'll uh, we'll fast forward and um, we'll go over to the last achievement from the last boss, which is also pretty straightforward, not that hard. But anyway, we'll do that now. Uh, we're here at the last achievement. Um, as a warrior, let me explain how I got up here without having to deal with the ads. I think that's kind of important. Um, basically, I killed the first two and I feared them. Even though they're undead, they're still fearful with Intimidating Shout. Um, and then I went down here and I got up right up on that ramp and I charged up to this um, this essence. But I went down in the water and came around like this. Came up here and charged up to it. Um, if you can put a CC, um, casting the thing takes like five seconds. So if you can do something like that or like vanish or anything like that, you can get through them. But other than that, it is kind of hard to do um, solo. And so anyway, um, basically what you have to do with this achievement is you have to kill the boss while you're at full hatred. And why that's hard is because whenever you're at full hatred, you you do less damage. You're basically, it's it's basically a debuff and so I'm going to get him very low and then just kind of spam all my buttons and uh, try and kill him. So anyway, uh, we're going to start this up. Oh, didn't mean to pull him there. We get over here, the Shaw Blast. I'm going to interrupt Rising Hate this time. To kill these things. Okay. I'm going to let him Rising Hate me here. Okay, as you can see, I did it a little bit too early. Um, here's the debuff here. Chance to hit reduce, physical healing, damage, increase. So you do more physical damage, but you don't do as much healing. So I'm going to have to meditate, and you can click off meditates where you don't lose all of your um, your hatred. As you can see, I'm very high right now, so this is actually a very good point where I can go ahead and do this. So I'm full hatred, and I'm going to do whatever I can to kill him. Come on, come on, come on. Void storm. Oh, I thought those things. Oh, got him. And so basically, um, you have 90% less chance to hit. You do more physical damage, like 20%, but you have 90% chance less to hit. So this is achievement is is kind of annoying to do, and that's why I waited till it was very low to actually go into full hatred and try and actually kill him. And so um, you just always want to make sure that you have some sort of way to kill him while you have the hatred thing. And if you're getting gr gripped around like I was, I knew it would happen. But um, you want to make sure that you can try and at least kill him while those grip things aren't up because obviously they're going to do more damage to you. But uh, anyway, that's pretty much all there is to this one. So anyway, like, comment.